so welcome back to my channel sass here i'm here for some breaking news child love after lockup news honey news you can't use honey listen to this i hope y'all doing all right i ain't gonna keep y'all i am not gonna keep y'all i supposed to be at my friend's house exchanging gifts and she come calling me talking about are you on your way i said i am child i'm sitting here talking to y'all she's just gonna cuss me out the minute i walk in through that door i'm ready for it but anyway child i had to give this to y'all before i walked out this door baby according to starcasm i leave the link down below Brittany and Ray on November the 14th, 2021, Brittany and Ray got married. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, they did, friends. They got married, and here is the wedding license, according to Starcasm. But see, I wouldn't just come to y'all with that. I mean, yeah, they got married. That's all gravy and all. Because, see, like I have said, Brittany and Ray, I was rooting for them. I like Ray. And I thought Brittany would be good for Ray, but we all know how Brittany acted this season. She couldn't stop running that mouth. But, allegedly, they got married. Now, there are a series of photos of Brittany in a wedding dress. Her hair is done. Her makeup is done. Brittany looks good. Brittany looks real pretty. And in one of the captions, it says, I'm going to create my own show. Because I'm MF and tired of the narrative and tired of the people. Now, she done freshly got married. What type of caption is this? Now, we know Brittany can be dramatic and extra. But then, she starts putting up Instagram posts. Got the, you know, viewers thinking. Got her followers thinking like, well, if you're freshly married, why are you putting up posts like this? Enabling shit. If he's my husband and we beefing and I don't want his dumb ass having a phone, that doesn't mean add a line, child. That was followed by this photo. Who is that? It says, this is what y'all's Ray deserves. Oh, Ray, did somebody slide into your DM shop? Who is this Ray? I mean, it ain't none of my business. It ain't got nothing to do with me, child. This is none of my business. But who is blue hair girl? That's all I'm saying. Now, there are also screenshots of text messages between allegedly Ray and Blue Hair Girl. This was on Ray. Now, again, this is allegedly, this is supposedly Ray and Blue Hair Girl. Here, take this and go release some stress. That's right. Blue hair girl says, my N-word. With a row of emojis. BRB. Finna. Nut. L-M-A-O. Ray said, let me see. Ray, I want to leave you to come say that. Ray, I know you did, but let me see. Then, allegedly, blue haired girl says, I'm trying to let you F this throw. 
but to let you F this throat. This is what y'all, y'all texting and DMing to each other. So foolishness. Right how old are you? And the way she's texting seems like she's kind of young. Then Ray says, FT me while you play with. Allegedly, he got married on November 14th. Now, I don't know when these text messages was exchanged to each other. But he got married November 14th. She says, and I want y'all to hear this really good. I want y'all to listen to this, okay? Because, honey, this is the text of all texts, child. She says, okay, let me go get my kids off the bus real quick. See, that's not all of it, y'all. After she wrote these lines, let me get my kids off the bus, which means she got more than one off the bus real quick. And she follows that. With the emoji, with the rolling eye emoji. Like they some inconvenience. Then Ray says, In due time, whenever you make your way this way. Ray. Now I don't know if that's true. This is all allegedly. But I'm going to need for you to stop doing these Dr. Seuss DM sliding into the DM's Dr. Seuss elementary school text with blue hair girl. You mean to tell me why her kids is riding on that good old yellow bus? She's sending these nasty texts to you. Then she did the rolling eye emoji. Right, that's what you want. Right, I'm just asking. This what you want. Because see, according to Starcasm and that marriage license, you got married on November 14th. So Brittany, she knows all this. Y'all know Brittany was furious. Remember, where the hoes at? Apparently, y'all remember Brittany said, where the hoes at? I didn't say that. That's what Brittany said. Don't y'all put that in my mouth. According to Starcasm, Brittany says that she scripted her and Ray's storyline. So much so that she should have got an executive producer credit. Brittany said that her and Ray, it was all her. She scripted all that. Brittany, you scripted yourself looking foolish. Because, see, Ray, he got the good end of the stick. You the one that looked like that you was carrying up. You was the one that was kind of shy embarrassing yourself. Brittany also thought it was important to let everyone know that the show didn't make her cool. She was cool before the show. Who said that the show made you cool? Y'all, did I miss part of the show where Brittany was looking cool? Child in Brittany's mind. Brittany has several quotes. Being on this show didn't make me cool to people. I've been cool to people. People that matter. People with money and people who can make things happen in the city. People who knew years ago that I should have been on somebody's TV screen. It's a shame what fame and attention can do to a person. Make you feel like you didn't even know them. Fake has become so acceptable that people get offended when you keep it real. Fun fact, 
I should have been an executive producer. I created and wrote every scene that has people mad. I have receipts. From where the hoes at to Miami and the promise ring. I feel like soldier boy. Don't play with me. Exclamation point. Brittany posted an Instagram picture. Now, I clicked on the link and it's no longer there. Apparently, Brittany and Ray's Instagram is gone, child. But the post says, still standing. And she put, my price went up. Brittany. Oh, Brittany. So, here's the update. Brittany and Ray got married. And allegedly, Ray has already done cheated on Britney with Blue Hair Girl. Who is annoyed with her kids getting off the bus. See, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. See, that's what she did. I didn't do that. That's what she put. I didn't say now thing. Now, stop it. Don't y'all be putting the words in my mouth. Y'all seen it. Now, the next season of Life After Lockup, we have some participants. And apparently, Brittany and Ray are going to be on the next season of Life After Lockup. Brittany, you going to write that too? I'm just asking. Or you going to write that? Next season. Instead of you getting all over Instagram having a temper tantrum, maybe you should start writing this script. This time, make yourself look a little bit better. Brittany, I wanted you and Ray to get married, then did this. And now, Ray, what is going on? So, Brittany and Ray supposedly coming back. Sean and Sarah. Speaking of Sean and Sarah, word on the curb is, is that Dumpster Fire Destiny got out in August. Y'all think Dumpster Fire Destiny gonna show up? You think Dumpster Fire Destiny gonna show up this season and kind of shine? Only as she can do because, see, baby, if Dumpster Fire Destiny show up with Sean and Sarah, it's on. I'm gonna have me a good old time. Trio of fools. <laughs> Then Anessa and Jeff supposed to be coming back. Now we know that Jeff done accused Anessa of sleeping. What was it? His brother-in-law? Or was it his brother? Done had a whole menage a trois without Jeff. And Jeff have recently got arrested. And I tell you, these folks just keep it coming. I mean, they just keep it going, child. That is the ones that are allegedly coming back for the new season of Life After Lockup. If that is the lineup, and if this is all their storylines, this may be pretty good. But who knows? Maybe Ray and Brittany needed a storyline for the new season. We shall see. Y'all know I don't put none past these folks. Y'all know what to do. Leave a like and comment. Because, see, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about these folks. Like, comment, and subscribe to my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. I appreciate y'all. Child, let me go, child. My friend done cussed me out two or three times by now. I will talk to y'all tomorrow because I will be going live tomorrow night, honey. Yes, Sasmus is moving on. Y'all have a good night.